Jonathan Kovac with your Timmins Captive Skating Weather Channel and Timmins Captive Skating Winter Storm slash Blizzard Warning. This is probably one of the most grave winter storm warnings I have seen in over a decade across this broadcast region. I'll take a breakdown of our 12-hour satellite imagery. We'll look at the real-time winds to put a position on our storm system. We'll look at a 12-hour forecast chart going into Sunday or Saturday night into Sunday morning rather to look at where our systems and fronts are located and a graphic forecast, sorry, I should say a text forecast from Environment Canada to break down the two essential forecast components. Okay, getting to English time now. Satellite picture from early this morning to late this evening shows you the spiraling storm departing Texas, aiming northeastward towards the Great Lakes. On my Tivins Weather Channel, I've been mentioning to my audience there for about three days now, we have a strong jet stream directing itself or steering its way from Texas along the U.S. southeast coast into the Great Lakes, feeding a lot of energy, which explains the oranges and reds of these cloud tops, a lot of heat and moisture from the ground rising up, mixing with the cold temperatures in the upper atmosphere. It looks almost like a summertime map, but it just shows you how long it's been taken for this winter storm to feed itself and dump its fury on us in the next 24 hours. The real-time wind shows you that the storm is now spinning backwards out of Des Moines, Iowa. It left Texas this morning at about 8 o'clock. Northwest winds, lots of them pouring out of the Prairie Provinces, feeding in the cool air into the storm system, throwing out warmer conditions at the head of it towards the U.S. central states, or southeast central states, I should say. And then the very northeast tip of the storm system is north or southeast winds that are affecting northeast Ontario. They're very light right now, about 10, 15 kilometers an hour. Give yourself by this time tomorrow night, and it's going to look nasty outside. 1 o'clock in the morning, our storm system's forecast to leave Des Moines, Iowa and position itself right over Chicago, Illinois with a very long warm front crossing over southern Ontario towards Quebec City where the beginning of mixed precip is located just around the Sault Ste. Marie Severy area and some of that will splash northward towards northeast Ontario. Showers, tornado force winds and plus 10 degrees Celsius with the risk of thunderstorms for Toronto tomorrow. Let's say 0 to plus 2 for Timmins. And there could be some lightning and thunder up here too. We're used to seeing that in the wintertime when you have a very strong exchange of uh, cold and warm air masses. By sunrise, the storm system is just west of Sault Ste. Marie. Look at that long warm front stretching over towards Bangor, Maine or just towards uh, yeah, the Maritime Provinces, I should say. A very extended area of mixed precip freezing rain for South Central Ontario. Sault Ste. Marie, Sudbury, North Bay, North of Muskoka. There's that thunderstorm symbol for Toronto. Freezing rain just making its way northward towards Northeast Ontario. The one important factor, folks, to look at, look at these lines. These are the isobars. This shows you the pressure gradient and how fast and furious the pressure is falling around the storm system. So the, uh, the bars go from Lake Superior, Sault Ste. Marie, let's say Wawa, Chapel area, Timmins, Captus Gasing, Abbot Tibby, Rouen, Aranda, Val d'Or. Southeast winds picking up forces at about 40, 50 kilometers an hour. This is before the storm system passes by. I guarantee you by this time tomorrow night, once the storm system is shifted towards, let's say, Moosonee or close to that vicinity, your winds are going to come screaming out of the northwest, and that's when the temperature is going to plummet. Speaking of screaming snowfall, here's a look at the breakdown from Environment Canada as I try to find my proper words here. Timmins, the box on the left shows you, let's do the math here, 5 to 10 centimeters tonight, 5 to 10 centimeters Sunday morning into Sunday afternoon, and close out the day Sunday with five to 10 more centimeters of snow with a brief period of freezing rain ice pellets mixed with all that. Is that not 40 centimeters, folks? Correct me if I'm wrong. Capus gazing, similar conditions, but they're predicting similar snowfall amounts, perhaps less, but the big emphasis for capus gazing is the blowing snow with the possibility of near zero visibility for most of the day on Sunday. That's my presentation for tonight. I will show you real-time updates throughout the day on Sunday between the mid-morning going into the late evening and I'll leave you now with my templates with other cool facts of the storm.